Welcome back to Gun Doctor TV. Now, what do you get when you take a person who's paralyzed, a jewelry store, a firearm, and a can do attitude? You get the wheelchair bandit. So, this takes place in Brazil and it involves a teenager who doesn't have the use of his upper body. I believe the video came out right around the time all the virus stuff started happening. So, a lot of people may have missed it. So, I am going to show you that video today. All right, check it out. All right, it starts out, the robbery is already going. And you can see that the bad guy is holding the gun with his feet. And see him switch grips there, get a better grip on it. Now he's really got it, got it out there. See the lady, she's just sanitizing her hands. She does not care, not a care in the world. The clerk doesn't seem to really care. It's got a really slow turn there. And that's where the video ends. Now, I forgot to mention that the guy is not only paralyzed basically from the waist up, he's also deaf and mute. Could you imagine being the clerk? He's sitting there, he's doing his job, and business is probably slow because of the pandemic and all that good stuff. And all of a sudden you look up and there is a guy in a wheelchair pointing a gun at you with his feet. Not saying a word, just staring at you in the eyes and pointing a gun at you. What's your first reaction? Now, before you say anything, let me show you a video that I came across. I'm going to point out this guy could have been more dangerous than what he was. Now this video I found on Instagram and from what I could tell it's a redneck dude in one of those fold up fishing chairs that you see on the bank fishing, drinking beer, fishing and all that good stuff in one of those you know cheap fold up chairs. Well the guy is using his feet to shoot a pistol at a plate rack downrange. And as you can see, one, two, three, four, five. And that's where the video resets. Because I saw this on Instagram. I don't know who the guy is. I would totally give him credit because that's pretty amazing. Some redneck just pull out a gun with his feet and absolutely nail his targets. Now let's get back to the wheelchair bandit. Okay, if a redneck in a lawn chair a redneck in a folding chair can do that with a pistol. Can you imagine what a man who's been using his feet to do things his whole life can do with a pistol? Now, I saw this documentary a couple years back where these people, you know, they were living ordinary lives and they were driving cars, painting masterpieces, and they were doing it all with their feet because they either didn't have limbs or they were born without the use of their limbs. So they improvised and adapted. Now, what would you do if you walked in as a firearms carrier and you saw this going down or you're a store clerk and a guy's just staring at you pointing a gun with his feet? How do you react? Do you do it like those people in the video? Because they did not take him serious whatsoever. Now there might be a reason for that because come to find out, the gun was actually fake. It could be an airsoft gun, I don't know what kind of fake it is, but the gun was fake, it's a toy. But if he had a real gun, I don't know if they would have reacted any different. So what would you do? I mean, would you run in and immediately football tackle the side of his chair and send him top onto the ground? Would you pull out your own weapon and maybe take charge of the situation? How would you react? Let me know in the comments below. I think this is a really good question to ask because I don't know quite what I would do myself because my first instinct, you know, it's a handicapped person and my first instinct would be to assist them or help them. I mean, you're not going to go there and assist him to rob the place. So how are you going to react? He's a criminal. He's, he's an armed robber. So how would you react? Let me know in the comments below. If you want to see more breakdown videos like this, let me know and I'll catch you in the next one. Stay safe and stay free America. Full beard manly.